Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're on a Granger 48 here, belonging to uh, Troy Forrest and his wife. And uh, he and his son did this retrofit. This is SV Mint. Uh, this is the 12 volt side here, with all the 12 volt distribution. Scotty here has pointed in from the alternators on the uh, Yamar engines, and that's the 48 volt side. And come over here and meet Jabin and Troy. Troy, tell us, why did you do this project? Uh, first of all, we wanted to get rid of the generator, and um, we put your high powered alternators on and that um, gives us enough power now to, and with the solar to replenish the power back into the system and we can run our water maker now just off our inverter and all our electrical appliances and um, yeah it's a real good system. Very good and Jabin you did the install how easy yeah, was that? Yeah we did the install it started by ripping out all the old appliances and just refitted in the boards that Bruce had supplied to us and just hooked it all up plugged and played and then we just did a test. So Happy on days. the IKEA 1 to 10 scale, how would you rate it? How difficult was it? Not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Jalen, yeah. I think you make things look easy as well. Yeah. So just a last little look at that, and let's go down and we'll just have a look in the engine room here. Oh yeah, there's some cut out the wall. We're now down in the engine room, and you can see there's the alternator that's added on there, and that's going up to Scotty. There's the power distribution that you can see going forward to it. So uh, new alternators either side, but just one Scotty. They can do up to 250 amps a piece. And uh, so when he's motoring, he can charge at 3000 watts. Here's the control console for the Granger. And uh, then we've got the 12 volt panel here. We've got the navigation panel that you can see here. We've got the Victron screen here. You can see the solar coming in here. Now the batteries are at 98, 99%. And then that's the AC panel, inverter charger, and the two solar controllers. So it all tucks in here pretty nicely, very nicely installed job. Uh, they're the four 48 volt batteries that are down there. Uh, these batteries can be externally switched, um, and you can see the indicator lights on there. And then each battery is going up through the isolator there into the Lynx power in. Uh, and the solar is also going in. You can see the PV breakers down there on the solar. And then the 48 to 12 over here is a backup for emergency for all the essential components uh, in case the uh, 12 volt on this side for some reason uh, fails. It's just to give redundancy on it. It was an idea I had. We're probably never going to use it, but it's there. And then the turbo down the bottom, this boat's got on the modem, the 4G always on so that we can give our gold support. Then on this side here, uh, you can see here the anchor winch, the large 12 volts. These sail winches here are 135 amps uh, each and uh, they're linked back to uh, Scotty here so that the 48 volt is running through here and powering up these so that the sail winches can run continuously. You can just run it all day and it's running off the 48 volt system. The engine doesn't have to be running, of course. And the anchor winch, they can even lift the anchor winch without the engine running if you want to. And then the, we're using this distributor here um, for the uh, power coming in uh, for, from the uh, alternators are coming in here then coming across on the 12 volt side and we've got a smart shunt over there as a backup so uh, it's quite a neat uh, install you can see there's the whole setup it's all within the seat and uh, yeah Jabin and Troy did a magic job of this uh, I have to say how good's that